Hi, welcome back. Haven't done a video for a while, so I thought I'd throw something up. This is an arpeggiated um, run, okay, using some fretted notes and some open strings with a finger style, right? Groups of four notes, one, two, three, four, right? The fourth note ascending is always going to be an open string. And here what I'm doing, I'm starting on the A string, I'm using a 12th fret on the A string, 10th fret on the D string, 9th fret on the G string, open B string. And then I'm doing 10th uh, fret on the D string, 9th um, fret on the uh, G string, 10th uh, fret on the, um, on the B string and an open E string. So. that I'm creating here in terms of notes is what's called an A minor ninth. It uses the notes A, C and E which give me A minor. And then I add the B which is the ninth. I'm just going through it with my fingers, thumb, first finger, second finger, third finger. It doesn't get any simpler. So then I'm, um, I'm going to come backwards and I'm going to uh, do uh, C, which is a, um, the 8th uh, fret on the high string, and I'm going to pull that off to an E. Okay, so to the E, then I'm going to play um, A on the 10th uh, fret on the B string, um, I'm going to play um, E on the uh, ninth fret on the G string. Um, e, uh, sorry, um, um, C on the um, D string on the tenth fret. All right, so then open B to get that minor ninth again. Um, then E on the um, G string, which is ninth fret, tenth fret, uh, C on the uh, D string and back to my starting note. So So if I break it down into four groups of four, that's the first one. Second one. get that running up to speed. Okay. Um, and then you can start to move the pattern around and um, and um, Now, lately I'm working with a theme of a lot of open strings, and I find that the open strings add flavours um, to the arpeggios that would be very difficult to find, positionally speaking. So, you know, it sounds pretty cool. So that, that's the A minor 9. The, other, uh, the next one I was doing here was, um, was, a, uh, was like an F. Open B, right, creates um, a, an eleventh. Okay, so that's like an F eleven, and the E gives it that major seven. So it's a major seven add eleven sound. G major, which um, already has 
has the B in it, but the E is not in G. It's uh, it's the thirteenth. So you can get some funky little sounds in there. That is uh, like D minor. first thing. Uh, another thing that I wanted to show you was a very very simple. Uh, it's a six note pattern. Okay, very very simple, right? So open E, hammer on the uh, on the E string, fifth fret, sixth fret, seventh fret. Okay, open A, open D. that long and then just move it down the guitar repeat the same thing starting on the A repeat the same thing starting on the D repeat the same thing starting on the G string it's like a good introduction for like an E dominant seventh uh, type thing So, so you can play with that. Okay, so there are a couple of really simple things. The arpeggiator stuff. Well, I hope that gives you something to work on. Uh, just thought I'll throw those things at you and uh, hope you're enjoying the, the new guitar. I spent a whole 350 bucks and bought this uh, guitar. It's actually not bad. It's a Sigma guitar. Apparently, it's, um, it's owned by Martin Guitar. And actually, for 350 bucks, it's a pretty sweet guitar. So, you'll take care and I will catch up with you soon. See you later.